Hi friends, this is Jennifer Huber, also known as Solo Travel Girl, and welcome back to my channel. So I need to let you know about my disclaimer that I am not a medical professional, nor do I play one on TV, but I am sharing my personal experience about Manjaro. So before I tell you about my Manjaro experience this week, I want to share a little bit of a story with you. This morning I was out in my yard, I was cutting grass, I was trimming trees, I was pulling weeds, it was hot and humid because it's Florida in August and I really needed a shower when I was finished. So I was taking my shower this afternoon and midway through the water shut off, like the water stopped. Like hmm. I checked both my bathroom sinks water and just a little bit trickled out and that was it. Tried the kitchen sink, same thing. No water. So I'm on a well and I went outside to look at my well and I really didn't know what I was looking for. But basically it said zero gallons was coming out. And yeah, I had no water. Now, the last time that this happened um, was when my parents came to visit me shortly after I moved into my house, which was 10, or 10 years ago. And they were using a lot of water. They were doing the laundry. They were watering the lawn because they had just uh, planted some plants in my yard and basically the tank was dry. The, the well fills up the tank and then the water was dispersed. So I needed a new water system then. So I'm thinking I do not have one, the money right now to afford a new water system nor the time because I'm heading out of town this week and I have no idea how long this will take. Then I'm like, how am I gonna take a shower? If it is that, am I gonna? how long am I gonna be without water? So I had a good idea that, or I, I guess I should say, I really, really hoped that the problem was the pressure switch with the well. And the reason why I thought of the pressure switch is because in 2017, we had Hurricane Irma here in Southwest Florida. I was without electricity, which meant no water because I'm on a well and the electricity pumps the well um, for six days. And when the power came back on, I had some issues and it was the power or the pressure switch. So I couldn't remember what to do with the pressure switch. So I went to YouTube and I found a video and long story short, I followed the instructions from the video. I went to my, um, electrical panel, shut that down or shut the well down. I took off the cap for the pressure switch and there were some dead ants which were between the panel and then the other part. So basically electricity couldn't travel through the ants. So the well wasn't working and I wasn't getting any water. I got rid of those ant carcasses and turned everything back on and I had water. So that was awesome. You know, YouTube is so awesome. There's so many things you can learn about on YouTube. I have learned how to change my windshield wipers. I've learned how to take apart my washing machine. I've learned, you know, um, different recipes, finance, all sorts of stuff. And the point of me sharing this with you was because this is why I am recording these videos and sharing my experience with you because one, I don't want anyone to think that you're alone in this world because I, I live alone and I'm quite happy with that, but I know not everyone is. But just know that you're not alone, that there's other people on the same journey with you. And plus, I want people to, to learn if they have questions. So I'm just sharing my personal experience about using Manjaro. All right, so I just finished up nine weeks of Manjaro and I finished up one week on um, 7.5 milligrams. So the box looks like this. So just like the 2.5 and the five milligrams, there were five or four pens in here. So now there's three. And if you haven't seen a pen before, I mean, I, I, if you're at 7.5, I assume you've already taken at least the five milligram pen. But if you're maybe new for the first time, this is a Manjaro pen. And it's one injection per pen. So tomorrow, which is Monday, I'm filming this on a Sunday, tomorrow I will inject myself with um, 7.5 milligrams and we'll see how it goes. 
If I have minimal to no side effects, I will let my healthcare provider know and then she will write me a prescription either for another month of 7.5 or for 10. Um, the goal is to work up to the maximum dose of this Manjaro, which is going to optimize, hopefully in theory, my glucose level. Now, my side effects this week, I, well, I had a headache on Tuesday night and then um, Thursday, I felt a little nauseous. I had some popcorn in the morning and maybe I ate too much because I didn't feel well after that. I did take a uh, Zofran to kind of calm my stomach. But other than that, I didn't experience any other side effects. So I think that's pretty awesome. My glucose level, um, if you remember from one of the other videos, if my glucose is over 200, I need to inject my, if it's over 200 in the morning, I need to inject myself with um, insulin and it hasn't been close to 200. I did have one day that was 163, but other than that, it's been about 145 or less each morning and that's non-fasting. So I'm pleased that my glucose is seems to be under or better controlled. Um, I guess I should try fasting to see what my numbers will be when I fast because I want to be less than 100 when I fast. So I don't know if I'm up for that. For weight loss, I've lost three pounds this week, making the total 28 pounds. And I'm here for the A1C glucose control and but the weight loss is a great side effect. Um, I haven't worn this top in several years. It feels comfortable now. Even my shoes feel a little bit um, looser, which sounds weird, but it, they do. Another thing I notice, I'm able to cross my legs more comfortably, so that's exciting. My BMI is 29. Um, it was a little over 33 when I started, which is considered obese. 29 is just overweight. I still have a ways to go to get to normal BMI. I'm not really putting much stock into BMI. Um, I guess you can call it BS sometimes because I think people can be heavier with the BMI scale says yet still be, be healthy. Um, Exercise, I've been, you know, walking my dog at least twice a day, practicing yoga a few nights a week, and then of course my yard work, lawn work. I've been doing some mental exercising, I guess you can say. I'm 52 years old, I don't have any kids, and I've started to think really about what's going to happen to all my stuff. I don't want someone else to deal with it. So I've started to do a lot of cleaning and purging in my house and that's making me feel lighter as well mentally lighter it's just a good feeling especially love the clean smell <laughs> but anyway so i did make some notes oh i'm traveling this weekend um it'll be the first time that i will need to travel with uh, medication that needs to be kept cold so i'm sure there's a youtube video about that, but if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave that in the comments. Um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be easy to travel with it. It's not, I mean, people do it all the time. They travel with insulin and just other medication that needs to be refrigerated. So I have that coming up. And I guess a, a note about that is the last video I told you how um, my company, the company that I work for, I have a a blue sky roll and a dark sky roll. And that means blue sky means my everyday day-to-day -day job. And then my dark sky is a storm roll. Um, last week, there were some systems out in the Atlantic and I think one in the Gulf of Mexico that we we're keeping our eyes on, or I was keeping my eyes on. They didn't turn out to, any, to be anything, but there's another system out there in the Atlantic right now that looks like it could be something by the end of Labor Day weekend. And if if by like Wednesday or Thursday, if it looks like it's going to be something coming towards my part of Florida, I don't think I'll be able to go on vacation this weekend, but we'll see. If I do go on vacation, you'll be getting a video from my, um, my parents' yard. If you don't get a video, that means I, um, I'm on storm duty. So fingers crossed that those storms just dissipate, go away. 
So I think that's all that's happening in my world right now. Um, I hope you're having a great success, great success with Manjaro, whether you're taking it for your diet for type 2 diabetes or for weight loss. I hope you're having great success. And remember, you're not alone. Um, I guess we have the 21st century now in technology, so we can all share this journey together. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll respond when I can. If you have any tips for me, especially about traveling with medication, with medication that needs to be refrigerated, please leave those comments. And other than that, have a fun and safe week and I'll catch you next Sunday. Thanks for watching. Bye.